So we had to detour when we got to the border. I picked these new men up from Palmyra. Volunteer, sir. They're the credentials. From Illinois. You've come a long way. And we'll go the rest of it. We came here to fight slavers. The sooner the better. That's good. We'll put you to work at once. Kit Smith, look after these gentlemen. All right. This way, boys. Let's go for a We've received the news we've been waiting for. We break camp, Raider. Yes, sir. Let's start tearing down these tents now. Oliver! He's hurt. I'm all right. Where's the father? Father! What has happened to you? Where are the Negroes you were told to bring? A couple of pro-slavers tried to grab us on the train. I shot one of them and jumped off. You left four helpless people alone to save yourself. I had to do it, Father. It was me or them. You cowardly fool. In the future, obey my instructions. We leave at once. All of you, down upon your knees. As once you sent the ravens to save Elijah, so now you have delivered into my hands the precious means of continuing thy holy work. The Lord our God is a great God, a mighty and a terrible who regardeth not persons nor taketh reward. The Lord is a man of war. Thy right hand shall become glorious through power. Thy right hand, O God, shall dash in pieces the enemy. Tired. When are we going to make camp? Oh, as soon as we cross the river, and then we'll be out of danger from both sides. You know, Lieutenant, I'm sure glad we're leaving civilization. It's getting too dangerous for a peace-loving man. I run into some of them abolitionists once, but who's this feller John Brown that talks so much about? Oh, as far as I know, he's just a dirty old windbag. In fact, he's just your type. Either of you ever meet him? No, but two of them fellas he killed at Osawata me were friends of mine. You mean Jim Doyle and Alan Wilkerson? Yeah, and that's the reason I'd sure like to meet up with this year, Mr. John Brown. He's got no quarrel with people like you, Tex. You'd do much better to leave him alone. Well, you can count me in anyhow. Even if he ain't harmed no friends of mine, I sure'd hate to miss a good fight. That's right, sir. My name is Smith, Jonathan Smith of Newton. Oh, well, what can we do for you? I believe you are carrying some freight consigned to me. Oh, it might be. Have you got something to show for it? I have this receipt from the shipper. Come a long way with an empty wagon, haven't you, Mr. Smith? Newton's about 100 miles from here. My home is in Newton, sir, but my place of business is much closer to the trail. Oh, I see. I thought your horses looked pretty fresh. Ain't cases of Bibles. That's right. Come on, Wendell, we'll unpack these Bibles for the parson. Jason, bring up your wagon. Get that cart down. I got to get them Bibles unpacked for the parson. That's a funny thing. I've seen that fellow somewhere. That's the way it seems to me. It isn't the kind of a face you'd forget in a hurry. No. Wait a minute. I know. In some magazine, The Atlantic, I think. Well, then he's either from Boston or he's a missionary. Not for something else.
been a lot of bad trouble over across the river lately, Mr. Smith. That murdering skunk John Brown's on the loose again. Better keep your eye peeled for him. Thank you. We shall. This stuff sure is heavy for Bibles. How would you know? You ain't never even saw one. Ah. <laughs> See those Bibles. There you are. Put your hands up and keep them up. your gun. Bring up the other wagon. Now then, quickly with those other crates. All right, get a move on there. Only the ones marked Bibles. Hey, Chip, look. Our friend Raider. Well, this is a surprise. And a commission in the cavalry, too, huh? I see you've got the commission you were after. Do you know these men, Raider? Yes, sir, very well. This one, Stuart, comes from a rich slave-owning family in Virginia. He called you a lying renegade once, and I jumped him for it. John Brown, him? John Brown? John Brown? I have nothing personal against you men, but I will deal harshly with any interference. I might have known you'd wind up with this outfit. Well, that's one of the troubles with the Army, Stuart. They don't teach you to think ahead. They do one smart thing. They teach you never to turn your back on an enemy without first making sure he's harmed. Stop this. We'll not saddle ourselves with a killing just to satisfy your personal quarrels. One more murder won't mark you any deeper than you are now, Mr. Brown. I intend to be a marked man. Back to your horse, Raider. Back to your horses, all of you. I've given you fair warning. You can keep your heads or lose them as you wish. Move on. Cases, George. What? Contraband, rifles, and ammunition. Gosh! Then we've been delivering Bibles with triggers on them. Let's take a chance. Everybody, take cover and open fire. Dismount! Take cover! Hey, wait a minute. They have number is three to one. Well, if it makes you nervous, don't count them. Come on. Everybody mount and follow me. Everybody mount. Come on, Shave Tail. Here's where I get your medal. Forward!
couldn't help it. I didn't do anything. All right, son. Nobody's going to hurt you. Who are you? Jason Brown. Brown? You one of John Brown's sons? Yes. Yes, but I never did anything. He made me go along. I never killed anyone, I swear it. I'm getting out. I'm quitting. You've got to take me with you. All right. Bring a horse up, George. Bring up the horses. I have to carry him back. 